Today, we have something truly fascinating to dive into. Have you ever wondered how scientists come up with groundbreaking discoveries? Absolutely. And you know, with the rise of artificial intelligence, the way we approach scientific research is changing dramatically. That's right. Today, we're going to explore an exciting new development called SciAgents. It's an AI system that's designed to autonomously advance scientific understanding. SciAgents, that sounds intriguing. What exactly does it do? Well, in essence, SciAgents leverages large-scale ontological knowledge graphs, large language models, also known as LLMs, and multi-agent systems to automate the scientific discovery process. Okay, that's a mouthful. Let's break that down a bit. First off, what's an ontological knowledge graph? Great question. Think of an ontological knowledge graph as a massive map that connects different concepts and ideas in a structured way. It's like a web where nodes represent concepts and the connections between them represent relationships. Ah, so it's a way of organizing information so that a machine can understand the relationships between different pieces of data. Exactly. This allows AI systems to reason about the data, discovering new connections that might not be obvious to human researchers. Interesting. And what about large language models, or LLMs? LLMs are AI models that have been trained on vast amounts of text data. They can understand and generate human-like language, which makes them incredibly useful for tasks like summarizing information, translating languages, and even generating new content. So SciAgents uses these LLMs to process and understand scientific literature. Yes, but it goes a step further. By combining LLMs with the knowledge graphs and a multi-agent system, which is essentially a team of AI agents each with specialized roles, SciAgents can autonomously generate and refine research hypotheses. That's incredible. It's like having a group of virtual scientists brainstorming together. Exactly, and the implications are huge. Traditional scientific research is often limited by the amount of information a human can process and their individual expertise. But AI doesn't have those limitations. Right. It can process vast amounts of data from different fields almost instantaneously, potentially uncovering connections we might never see. One of the exciting applications of SciAgents is in the field of biologically inspired materials. Biologically inspired materials, like materials designed based on nature, Exactly. Nature has evolved some incredibly efficient and effective materials. Think spider silk or shark skin. By studying these natural materials, scientists can develop new materials with advanced properties. So SciAgents is helping to unlock nature's design secrets? Yes. Let me give you an example. SciAgents was able to generate a novel hypothesis by connecting the concepts of silk and dandelion pigments. Silk and dandelion pigments. That seems like an unusual combination. It does, but that's the beauty of it. By exploring the knowledge graph, SciAgents discovered that integrating silk with pigments derived from dandelions could create a new biomaterial with enhanced optical and mechanical properties. Wow, that's fascinating. So not only is it proposing new materials, but it's also suggesting how they might be created. Yes, and it even predicts the properties of these new materials. For example, the composite material could have a tensile strength up to 1.5 gigapascals, which is significantly stronger than traditional silk. That's impressive. And what about the optical properties? The integration of dandelion pigments could lead to materials with vibrant structural colors without the need for synthetic dyes. This has applications in eco-friendly textiles and coatings. Incredible. It's like having an AI material scientist that works tirelessly to innovate. Exactly. And because it's an AI system, it can explore countless possibilities much faster than humans. So, in terms of the multi-agent system, how do these agents collaborate within SciAgents? Well, each agent has a specific role. For instance, one agent might be responsible for generating hypotheses, another for refining them, and a third for critically evaluating them against existing data. It's like a team of specialists working together, each bringing their expertise to the table. Precisely. This collaborative approach allows the system to tackle complex scientific problems more effectively. I imagine this could significantly speed up the research process. Definitely. Traditional research can be time-consuming, often requiring extensive literature reviews and experiments. 
SciAgents can automate much of this, freeing up human researchers to focus on other aspects. Are there other examples of discoveries made by SciAgents? Yes, another example involves developing biomimetic microfluidic chips inspired by the lamellar structures found in certain biological materials like keratin scales. Microfluidic chips? Those are used in lab-on-a-chip technologies, right? Exactly. By mimicking these natural structures, the chips can have enhanced heat transfer performance and mechanical stability. That's amazing. It shows how AI can help us take inspiration from nature in ways we might not have considered. Absolutely. And the potential applications extend beyond material science. This approach can be applied to chemistry, biology, and many other fields. I can see that. But are there any concerns with relying on AI for scientific discovery? That's a valid question. While AI can process and analyze data at a scale we can't, it's important to have human oversight. AI can sometimes miss context or make connections that aren't practical. So it's more about augmenting human researchers rather than replacing them. Exactly. The idea is to use AI as a tool to accelerate discovery not to entirely replace human intuition and expertise. That makes sense. It's a collaboration between humans and AI. Right? And the multi-agent system in SciAgents is designed to mimic the collaborative nature of human research teams. I find that fascinating. It's like the AI agents are colleagues, each contributing their strengths. Yes. And because they can process information so quickly, they can explore a vast number of possibilities in a short time. So. What does this mean for the future of scientific research? It means we could see an acceleration in discoveries across various fields. AI systems like SciAgents can help us tackle complex challenges by uncovering insights that might take humans much longer to find. That's exciting and a bit overwhelming. It is, but it's important to approach this technology thoughtfully, considering the ethical implications and ensuring transparency in how these AI systems operate. Absolutely. Trust and accountability are crucial when integrating AI into critical areas like scientific research. Agreed. An ongoing collaboration between AI developers and scientists can help address these concerns. Before we wrap up, let's revisit some of the key takeaways from our discussion. Great idea. First, AI systems like SciAgents have the potential to revolutionize scientific discovery by processing vast amounts of data and identifying novel connections. Second, the use of multi-agent systems allows AI to mimic collaborative human research teams, each agent bringing specialized expertise. Third, by leveraging ontological knowledge graphs and large language models, AI can autonomously generate and refine research hypotheses. And fourth, applying this technology to fields like biologically inspired materials can lead to innovative breakthroughs, such as new materials with enhanced properties. Absolutely. It's an exciting time for science and technology. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for joining us on this fascinating journey into the future of scientific discovery. Thank you. And to our listeners, stay curious and keep exploring.